Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix REST API errors on your uh, WordPress server. So, the first thing that you will need to do now is to open your web browser. Either it was Google Chrome, S Safari, Opera, Microsoft Edge, any web browser will do the work. After that, you will need just to go to uh, the searching bar and type WordPress. And basically, after you go to the wordpress and click on the wordpress.com you click on the first link now we will need to create an account so we can access the wordpress.com so basically we need just to click on get started and here we will need to add our email address you add your username and then you choose password otherwise you can just log in with using your google account or apple account and basically after you create an account, you will need just to verify the account by clicking on a link that will be sent to your mailbox uh, by the WordPress organization or website. So basically, after you create an account and verify it, we will need to log into this account so we can start uh, using our WordPress website or platform. So basically, you will need just to use the email that you have just created the account with you click on continue then you go to the password you enter the password and finally you will need now just to follow these simple steps so basically after you log into your wordpress uh, dashboard you will need just to go to your uh, tools or settings and uh, basically we need just to go to settings and we then we will need just to go to the permalinks and basically the fix for this error is easy just save the changes without using any uh, without changing anything and this can help for solving this problem because it will flush and it will rewrite the links between your uh, between the pages and the links and it can help or it will fix this problem because it will re rewrite uh, the links between uh, the server and your website and it can uh, make your website to work again so basically as i said you will need just to let everything as it is and then just click on save changes so it can restore the links between the pages etc and then you will be able to work with your page so basically this is how you can fix it thank you for watching and see you next time